You are being watched. Hello, welcome back to What Our Movie. I am Tony. And I'm Chris. And we're back for Person of Interest, Season 3. Last time was Provenance. Uh, we met Kelly Ling. Kelly Lin, that was it. Um, she was a gymnast turned oh, yeah. thief. And she thiefed some things for uh, the Czech Republic, right? Gangsters? Yes. Thiefed yeah. some things. Uh, thiefed <laughs> some things, yeah. And then basically the whole team ended up Happy helping her. After. Did a heist. Did a heist. Yeah. It's, really, it's really cool. I liked GTA it. I enjoyed style. it. Yeah, all the team had their roles, saved her daughter. Did all yeah. the things. Uh, nothing much in the way of like the machine, no. any of the back stuff. I, I realised I was calling uh, the English guys group Samaritan when they're called Decima, Decima Technologies. Oh, remember, yes. they actually have a name, and I forgot that <laughs> for some reason. Uh, so much has been going on. Uh, but we're on to episode fifteen. We're getting through this season. Nice. We have two, four, six, eight, nine episodes left. This is season three, episode fifteen, last call. This aired on the 25th of February, 2014, directed by Jeff T. Thomas and written by Dan Dietz. Uh, I believe we've seen both of those before. Uh, maybe not Jeff T. Thomas. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure we have. But there we go. What do you expect from Last Call? I don't know. What could it mean? What could it mean? I feel like we're downplaying the other things going on. Like like what I said, like you have these little things that trickle in. Yeah. And then you get so hooked on them, you find out a little bit, and then the story goes to kind of like back to basics. Well, I think it's a thing. nice change after the last five episodes, which are very heavy on yeah, the yeah. No, HR not, and the, the Decima and all that. I'm not hating on it, so no, I'm no, kind no. of like yeah, just it's thinking a nice change it's of pace. probably just going to be an average... Could be. Yeah, it's a nice Average nice game. change of pace. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, full reactions in the discussion, the uh, description. You need your own copy to watch along. Just make sure to come back where we'll describe all about it. <laughs> no, God. I did that perfect. Uh, anyway, God. yeah, let's go. If your number's up, uh, we'll find you. She okay? <laughs> Finch in the field? Oh, I love the graphics. Was it this. like a 911? 911 what? Like call center. Ah. What's your emergency? <laughs> they broke it into my car. <laughs> That's so good. No, yeah. thank God. Are they attempting to steal the vehicle? They raccoons. Squirrels can't drive. Oh. Oh my God. Raccoons, did you say? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, close like... enough. You to a non hmm. you sure you've never done this kind of thing? I was going to say, he can like just some... merge himself into anything. Yeah. Yeah. Experience. <laughs> Maybe we should get Fosco to question the squirrels. <laughs> right. Rodent carjacking ring. Keeping entertained, are we? Raccoons. I'd be happy to I feel like you hear of raccoons breaking into people's uh, houses, don't you? Yeah. yeah. And going through their bins and. You really want someone to call 911 and get me? Point taken. <laughs> yeah. I love that she knows how. Yeah. <laughs> how she is. Yeah. We get to help them while looking into our latest number. Sandra Nichols. 911 operators are often witnesses at trial. Oh, God, yeah. Imagine so, because you hear a lot of stuff, yeah. don't you? Yeah. At the routing system. <laughs> Every of course he has. Get. Her car went off a bridge into the water. I don't know what to do. It must be so stressful. Yeah. Speaking of stress. Oh We're going to get you out of there, okay? Jack, are you wearing heels? Yes. Your car window's weak spot is up front near the door. Did you know that? No, now I do. Hmm. Got to start driving wearing heels. Yeah? Huh? Start driving while wearing heels. Yeah. <laughs> Always have a pair of heels. So like, why have you got one heel in your car? Where's the other shoe? That's my emergency heel. <laughs> Wonder how she'll hold up when she's faced with one of her own. Maybe she's the other surge, you know. Maybe she's okay. gonna kill the other supervisor to take their position. Oh, good, dude. Yeah. What do you think, Fusco? On edge. One was ready to remember. <laughs> I love how that is just so blase about yeah. that. It's like, oh. <laughs> But we can't get his DNA without a warrant. You're a dumpster diving king? Detective Fusco? They're just all coming to Fusco. <laughs> He's too good. Tara Cook. Head bashed in, wallet stolen. They don't all come on instructions. Figure it out. <laughs> That's a bit harsh. My brain's being picked on everything from interrogation to evidence collection. Your arrest of Officer Simmons brought you no know Yeah, I was just gonna mm. say. Perhaps He's you should like... be flattered. Did you receive the name I sent? Yeah. She's clean. She did have a sealed jewelry record. I don't suppose you could take a peek. All departments on the screen. Unless you got a court order. Damn. Thank you That's a change, isn't it? Is that as for your newfound popularity? You've earned it. Yeah. Uh -huh. He's gonna find a court order on his desk now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, does he feel bad? He does. He's too harsh on <laughs> the newbie. See these bruises? Happens when a body stays in one place. So he's just moved. 
Industrial carpet five, but she wasn't wrapped up in any carpet. Body was moved. Let's get to work. Show me what else you got. Damn, he good. He yeah. knows what he's doing. It must be a really interesting job though. Like, yeah. I think I've said it before, but putting all the pieces together. I mean, it's kind of like what the team do, don't yeah. they? Mm -hmm. Trying to work it all out. The men are trying to break into my apartment. Hi, Aaron. I'm Sandra. God, it must be awful to hear these sort of things as well. All units, 1031 in progress. It may not be our number, but... We got it, Finch. We're on our way. Oh. Mm. Sandra, they're breaking. Is there any place you can hide? There's a crawl space. Who is this? Kids, what do they want? Hmm? What do they want with this kid? Yeah. Well, they want something in the house. Be super quiet. Do they know? <laughs> this is really this like... Is... Yeah. It's like putting you on edge. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... So... Aaron? This is why we always charge our phones. Oh hmm. Aaron! Oh. God, yeah, like I said, imagine hearing this. Men want me to tell you something. Answer your phone. <laughs> Finch's face. What is going on here? So nice to meet you, Sandra. For what we're about to do together, I need you mobile. And what are we about to do? Anything I say. No. <laughs> I just, unless you follow my instructions, little Aaron is going to die. <laughs> what the hell? God damn. There's a big stream in it. That is. Why her? <laughs> what? Yeah. What's your well, they knew what she did, you know? How do I know Aaron is even real? I'd be happy uh, to cut true. off Aaron's hand and dump it outside your apartment at 3621 17th Avenue. Did not tell me exactly which body part you'd like him to lose first. It's like jigsaw, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Disobey any of my commands. Disconnect this call Dang. and Aaron dies. Sounds simple enough. Command she's just gonna act normal. Call off the well. police. All units. The call was a hoax. Oh, now she's in it. <laughs> At least she's got a guardian and angel listening in there. Yeah. Aaron's been abducted. Why would Sandra's number come up if Aaron's the one in danger? Her fate and Aaron's are entwined. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it only gives one number yeah. despite it involving multiple people. Like, and maybe the machine saw it as a good thing to get Finch in the position he is in. Like, yeah. yeah rather than... No sign of them or the kid. I used a remote administration tool to access Aaron's computer. The guys who took him were pros. That ring. He always knows the Templar Yeah. <laughs> Templar. The Mexican cartel. And pointed the GPS signal from the mystery caller's phone. I want it. I'll see if I can track down the cartel. Yeah, he always knows, like, the different gangs yeah, and, like, tattoos does. and whatnot. It's, yeah. <laughs> Let's go check out our office. Carpet fibers aren't a match. Well, what's she get? The plot thickens. Unless the world's coming to an end. For a ten-year-old boy, it is, unless we save him. Uh, that'll change his mind. <laughs> the Templar house. It's the deal where they've been hanging out. They used to frequent a bar up in Bedford Park. I heard she was mugged. Why are you checking her office? Mm, why are you have to something <laughs> He did it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Huh? I said he did it. He looks yeah. just a bit creepy, doesn't he? Coming so I hired her. Uh, Gina Kincaid. Husband and CEO Ron Kincaid. A copy of the security footage. Uh, the machine is like, I'm all done for you. <laughs> machine knows everything. Plug your headset into your phone. Your hands need to be free. I was gonna say, like, it's so awkward <laughs> using your building's backup generator. Why shut it down? Because I asked nicely. Because they don't like want it online. Yeah. But people tend to get hurt when that happens. It's got such a, I don't know. His voice is so good, girl. Kind of so patronizing, you know. <laughs> I can see your hand shaking. Everyone can. Uh, mm. wait. So you can see, so watch it. How long has your cat been stuck in the AC duct? <laughs> just the cool as they get. Sandra, I just wanted to thank you again. Are you all right? Fine. Hmm. Act natural. I think I, I, I dropped an earring. Just sign in. Oh, Sandra. Did you really think I wouldn't see that? Ah. Uh. Just like you didn't care about little Joseph 20 years ago. Joseph. Who's Joseph? The right resources. Are you doomed to make the same mistake twice? How the hell did he see that? Don't <laughs> Would you do this? Would you play along? What would you do in this situation? I, I mean, you got not got much choice, has she? So. Creepy down here, isn't it? What if it's just a little man following her? Maybe. And she just hasn't looked out. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> Let's go to the server room. Wow. What do you think his plan is? 
What if Finch just went down and switched it back on? I mean, yeah, he could. I mean, I guess the guy would be like, who's this no, guy and how does he I'm know? Sorry. Yeah. Because he seems to be able to see things, yeah. right? So. Pull up all the 911 calls that came in two days ago. How many? 30,980. <laughs> God! <laughs> New York, so... New York. I want you to delete them, Sandra. All of them. I can't. Their evidence, confessions, dying words. Yeah, Jesus. I've told you what I require. Save 30,000 phone calls or the life of one boy. There's no evidence that he's broken into the camera feed. Somehow able to watch Sandra's every move. Creepy. GPS you sent me. Eyes on this car. I love the music. So good. Who's that? Did you find the caller? We have a problem. God damn. This guy's not just a voice. He's a ghost. It's pretty smart. Mm -hmm. Just lead it the wrong way. <laughs> Sounds like a phone relay. Ruby Does that work? His call could be originating from anywhere in the city or the world. If we untether the phones, the call will disconnect. Some guy paid him a thousand bucks, drive around all day with the phones, never got a name. Only I could determine how he's able to keep such a close eye on Sam. The dog tried to bite. I, I understand, and I'm not. Oh, of course. Ooh. Can you get a description of the man who paid the driver? <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> she loves this. What good could deleting them possibly do? It's the simpler solution. Enough talk, the calls, or the kid. Tricky situation. Dr. Hand, I have remotely activated the mute function. <laughs> Whoever's doing this mounted a tiny webcam on your headset. That's My God. Able to watch. I have a team working to save Aaron. Just a smoke screen to hide the one call. We could locate that call. We might be able to turn the tables on. I'm losing patience, Sandra. It could take 15 minutes. I need mm. an elite admin code on a key fob. Then that... stop wasting time. While you do that, I'll stay here and find that call. Ah, nice. <laughs> this is cool. Out of your line of sight. Uh. <laughs> just hiding behind yeah. her. I, I, I joked about a little man hiding yeah, behind her. Yeah, just, <laughs> Not saying Finch is little, but it's funny. <laughs> Who would be able to get a webcam on her thing, though? Right, yeah. Leaves a night, an unusual map of the places Tara spent most of her time. What about that co worker there, Mr. Uh, Concerned? I'll check him out. Mr. Creepo. Mm -hmm. How does this. Is this going to connect in some way, or is it just a. I need your help. I'm looking for a needle in a haystack. Maybe it's her murder. It's 911 call out of 30,000. 38% of all calls are the result of unintended pressure to the key. <laughs> you told me that 911 gets over 11,000 butt dials a day. <laughs> so, but it did allow me to. Let's cut to the chase. How many calls? I feel like 911's harder to call than our number, 999. Yeah. I'm sending you your half of the list. 156 calls in five minutes. Happy hunting, <laughs> detective. <laughs> One of my trainees yanked too hard on a monitor cable. You a spare? <laughs> His face. Well, they learn to respect the tech. That's what I keep saying at work. <laughs> right? Respect the tech. That's what yeah. I say. <laughs> Better hurry. That's quick. No, it was. Hey, I don't think I could take a cue enough that quick. You okay, Sandra? Rough call. Yeah. It's understandable, I guess. Yeah. She's covering up pretty well. Every day, it's my newspaper. I shouldn't have slept with him now. He hurt me. Want to tell me your name? Hello, are you there? Answer me. Mm. Please answer me. <laughs> I, I like how yeah. literally this caller's phone has been in the same locations as the rookie's homicide. The last scene, I was like, Tara. <laughs> I was like, how does this connect? Yeah. <laughs> I think I found the call. If I'm right, we're working the same case. I'm pretty sure I know her name. I'm sending you the info now. So why would I he want it? Gold? That yeah. kid. It's the same person who killed Tara. Wow. Well, there you go. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Who is that? It's where I don't know that person. You broke one of my rules. Please don't hurt Aaron. I'm a man of my word. This was your fault. What is your emergency? Would you like me to send an ambulance? Explosion. Are you sure? Where was the bomb? When it went off, sir? I love how it shook the building. Yeah. Yeah, so. Oh my god. And as far as you can tell, this is literally like. Jigsaw in New York. The bomb I exploded was in a parking garage. Call it a warning shot. Aaron That's a warning. For the moment. Damn. Okay, I understand. It's crazy. crazy. No, I bomb of the exact same size is currently strapped to little Aaron. And since my rules have been <laughs> complicated for oh you, my God. you have exactly 15 minutes to delete those calls. 
do it. Or the next dispatch call you make will be to have officers pick up the pieces of what's left of that boy's body. This music's great. What's wrong with this guy? Huh? What's wrong with this guy? <laughs> he seriously got some issues. Damn. Yeah. This will be the last call she ever made. It's all lots of ticks. <sighs> At first, it didn't make sense. Why pick the one who was least likely to crack under pressure? Unless he knew something about you. The loss of a child. His name was Joseph. I lived across the street, used to babysit him all the time. One night when I was 14, I was giving him a bath. He wanted a toy. It's only gone a minute. You can probably guess the rest. Man. The worst part wasn't desperately trying to perform CPR before the paramedics arrived. It's awful. Yeah. No, the worst part was when I came back upstairs, I froze. And to this day, I wonder whether those extra 15 seconds wouldn't have saved Joseph's life. Every, Every second counts. Yeah. But yeah, she was only Anyone 14, was right? Arrested. It's like... I was found innocent, not in my eyes, which is why I'm going to do whatever this man wants. The second reason why the caller is targeting you. I don't care. I'm not giving up on another little boy. I'll give you as many minutes as I can. It's like the perfect the person to pick, right? <laughs> I understand you won't give up on Aaron. I won't give up on you. <laughs> Such a nice guy sometimes. <sighs> you still have those tethered phones? Hold on to them. I have work to do. Oh, <laughs> what is he gonna do? <laughs> Good old Finch. Got a description. She? Latino in a slick suit, ridiculous number of piercings in his right ear, including... It's pretty distinctive, right? right? Yeah. yeah. There he is. Mm. That does seem a bit ridiculous. I'm on my way. No need to hand the <laughs> on your own. There's one to wait for backup. I want a quick conversation with him. And the rest of you can leave. <laughs> I, I mean, I'd listen to him, if, but they probably don't know who like he is. a threat and a half, isn't it? Ugh. This is like some Maybe John Wick situation. Leave. Yeah. Oh, you could the whole. I was kind of hoping you'd take the hard way. Oh, John loves the fight. <laughs> he does love a fight. No! No! <laughs> <laughs> no! Yeah, I want to see him fight. Call you when I'm done. Every time I see that building, it looks like a PS5. Any idea what Tara has? That's silly. That's your cell phone. Uh-uh. That's your cell phone. That is a burner phone. Face changed just instantly. Somebody got rid of it. Somebody who killed her. We accessed the phone records. Tara used that burner phone to only call two numbers. 911 the night she died, and this one. Recognize it? Here's because it's pretty his number. <laughs> we decided to check its voicemail. I got this friend of mine who's just, he's great at that type of thing. <laughs> That's great. I can't do this anymore. The sneaking around. I want to tell the world. Carpet fibers from the mat in your trunk, which is where Ron mm -hmm. stuffed the body after he hit her. You didn't know what was on that car, but you knew you needed to get rid of it. But you had to kidnap a little boy to cover it up. Little <sighs> boy, what? He was just supposed to get rid of the car. Who'd you hire? Uh... What the hell? I don't know. These people. I found someone who could get rid of the problem. How do you call it up? I never ask. We've had that this same sort mm, yeah. of situation before, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's still really cool yeah. seeing the aftermath of it. Like, you could, because your imagination could lead yeah. you to how did he take it out? I mean, <laughs> couldn't save me any. Yeah. I saved the best for last. <laughs> just just sit there casually. You'll never catch him. Guys, careful. You're gonna tell us where you're holding the boy. You're going to have to shoot me. Oh. <laughs> that won't be necessary. Those earrings don't need to be in your ears. No. <laughs> I was gonna go darker. I was like, those teeth don't need to be in your mouth. <laughs> I was able to hack into the one cell phone tower relaying signals from both the tethered phones. I know where our mystery man is calling from. Chances are it's the same place they're holding Aaron. They're already there, Finch. Templario gave up Aaron's location. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> yeah. They specifically so spoke about it. Yeah, screw that. You think he just had earpieces? Yeah. You're evil. <laughs> Hardly welcome the comparison, Miss Shaw. <laughs> she just said he's like Finch if he was evil. <laughs> what? You need a new suit? What will she do? Oh. Are you sure? At least you get the prompt. Mm. <laughs> Stop. The clients who hired me for this job have confessed. My contract with them is now null and void. So it's over. You're letting Aaron go. That has now become impossible. Oh. I simply cannot risk. Cleanliness is all. You did everything you could. Jesus. You don't do this. It's too late for Aaron and for you as well. 
Oh my god, this guy is insane. Pleasure speaking with you, Sandra. Goodbye. <laughs> it's creepy, isn't it? Imagine if there was actual ad breaks like normal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we should do that. We should pause it and then <laughs> wait for two minutes. To exit to the front. Which is exactly what the man yeah. who called it will yeah. be waiting for. Is Trapping there another way out. Follow me. Where, where's the other way? The back way. Propel down the building. Helicopter. Slide. It's only duct tape. Can't he wiggle out? He's only a kid. What the hell? What the- <laughs> 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 Nice. <laughs> that was a good decoy. Gotta that bomb. Hey, let me clear the way. Okay, sure I'm gonna defuse the bomb. We know- we know John can. Yeah, yeah. What does Weed call him John? Ah? Huh? What does Weed call him John? I don't know what you said, the gunshots are too loud. <laughs> <laughs> It's weird calling him John. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reese. You're Aaron, yeah. right? I'm here to help. You got a lot of time. Quick. Sandra. Oh. Is that the guy? Really? <laughs> Could you imagine going into your work the next day where you're building and be like, why is there gunshots it's everywhere? Like bullet holes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like baseball, right? Yeah, but I'm not a very good hitter. I used to have the same problem. <laughs> He's a pretty good hitter now. Close my eyes. Imagine myself hitting one out of the park. It's all about timing. So what if that level goes out? Does it like trigger it? I guess so. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> Didn't even need to see him. You could just yeah. tell. <laughs> Swing as hard as you can. Now. Ah. Oh. Nice. You figure mm. out which one was behind all this? None of them. Mm. He's still out there. Maybe he's with Faye? Yeah, maybe. I don't like this best, but... I feel like she knows this whole building so well. Yeah. She's breathing too heavily, though. She needs to choose to not breathe. <laughs> I'm breathing in my ass. Why is there water in the basement? The guy was mopping earlier, so... <laughs> no, I think he spilled his bucket. For you make a grave error of judgment, oh to describe what I have. What the f***? It's a seven electrical cable connected to this generator. Ten times the amperage required for electrocution. Oh my god. Oh my god. You know that moment where you're like, for... <laughs> this guy deserves it, though, if anyone. Now, I'm not a violent man. Not only have you tried to harm this young woman and an innocent child, you have shut down a 911 call center in one of the more dangerous... I was going to say New country. York City. Two things that will keep me from ending your life. Drop the gun. This is a negotiation and a half, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Second, I need to hear the sound of your voice. Just work for the guy. Sandra, get his weapon. Please don't drop that, Finch. <laughs> Not now, that would be awful. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> My God. I imagine Finch being like, "This isn't. This is just a bit of wire I picked up. This isn't oh, connected right. to anything." Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. I, I just, this is an off cap. I'd say we make a pretty good team, don't you think? We're in the team. He's only got yeah. one team, mate. It's been a bit hard, ass. I, I get it though. You can help you solve all your cases. <laughs> oh, poor guy. <laughs> just messing with him. <laughs> Can't replace Carter though, can you? I owe you my life. Come to think of us as kindred spirit, taking emergency calls to help those who need. Was, yeah, it's basically what he does. You got a call? Something like that. <laughs> what I mean to say is, it does my heart good to know that you're out there. Likewise. Before you leave, something I'd like to show you. Is that him? <laughs> I wanted to offer you the one thing that 911 operators never get. Yeah, I guess yeah. you don't get to Closure. see the... Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn. Yep. Team did it again. Aaron looks happy. My deepest thanks to both of you for a job well done. So I said. <laughs> I still want to find yeah. a guy. Uh... A chance hmm. to speak to the man who handed me my first defeat. Any attempt to harm either Sandra or Aaron again would be a mistake. Sandra's earned her life. This point <laughs> harm Aaron would be counterproductive. You, however, are another story. Be seeing you. 
Mm. I've been saying John Wick stuff and this yeah. be seeing you as a John Wick thing. <laughs> Nothing of any consequence. I mean. Mm. Uh. He doesn't want to tell him because they'll get hooked and try and like. Yeah. Ugh. My God. That episode is one that I always remember. I don't know what it is about it, but yeah. So, that was Last Call. What did you um, think of that episode? If you click on it, will it show you who's in it? Uh, possibly. Why, well, do you recognise the woman? I really recognise that woman, and it was doing my head in the whole way through. Yeah. Right oh, there. Sandra, yeah. Melissa Sage Miller. Just recognised her. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe she looks similar to someone else. Maybe. I mean, in that picture, and sometimes when she was, she gives me slight um, Starbuck. No, I feel vibes. like it was. Um, but not, not quite. I don't know. Grey's Anatomy. Someone from Grey's oh, okay. Anatomy. She gave yeah. me vibes off too. There we go. What did you think of the episode? It was a good episode. Yeah, it was, nice it was good. Like I said, I really remember this like sticking out to me. So yeah. as soon as I saw the thumbnail, I was like, oh yeah, this episode. I like good. how. Um, they've got their story and then they're trying to get Fusco and then Fusco's like look I'm busy I'm so much now like <laughs> yeah. and it's like my own stuff to do with it, but it's still connected yeah yeah because I even questioned that like I didn't know if you questioned it in your mind or whatever yeah. but I was like so how did they connect and then literally the next scene they like yeah I um, think I did turn around at one point and go maybe it's the same murder that yes no I heard yeah. that yeah 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 I don't know if he was hearing me no I heard that part about gunshots yeah yeah, yeah. um and, and, like, a lot of the times when I'm questioning stuff in this, like, obviously I've seen this before, but I don't remember every detail, no. so I didn't remember them connecting. So, um, I don't remember... It just remember... seemed to be going too much in detail to not connect. Yeah, 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 exactly. So, there had to be a reason, yeah. I guess, so. Yeah, um... But, yeah, enjoyable. It very much reminded me of Jigsaw, like, Saw, in a way. Yeah. Like, kind of, do what I say or I kill you. I oh, mean, yeah. and she's kind of trapped in a way, and, like, yeah... But, yeah, it felt like that. Um, and for some reason, I brought up John Wick. I can't remember what... It was the bar scene with all the people, yes. like, appearing. It reminded me of John Wick 4. Do you know the steps at the end yeah. where they all appear? And then the suits. I was like, I had a thought. Maybe I had John Wick on my mind because I saw John Wick 4 is now free to stream. Yeah. Um, but the suit hanging up, I was like, oh, it doesn't matter if they get shot. They got bulletproof... Oh, no, wait, no, they, they don't. don't. <laughs> and then, Wrong at the time. end, he said, be seeing you, which is a John Wick thing. Um, yeah, there you go. I mean, Mr. Reese is John Wick. Wick. You know, yeah. Um, yeah, so it all was in a 911 emergency call yes. centre, which must be the most... Speaking of stress, because you said your eyes been twitching. Um, yeah. Must be one of the most stressful jobs in the world. Like, the yeah. things you hear. And, like, like there's even a part where she said to the guy, like, oh, rough call, and he was kind of like, I get that. Yeah, because like, um, I watched not long ago... Um, what was that... 911 show, was it? Was it just called 911? Maybe it's just called 911. trying to hide that you're. <laughs> you sound yeah. like a deflating balloon. Do you remember me saying I was watching the series 911? Yes, that, I do that's remember. That's very much. It's You're basically the, following the call centre okay. and the 911 dispatchers. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And like one of the bits in that that was highlighted quite a lot was that the 911 dispatchers, like. There's never any closure to the calls. Yeah, which is because, a nice thing with this episode as well. The yeah. moment, like, you're only there until the responders turn up. Yeah. And then you never know if that person yeah. lives, if they die, what the outcome is. But you have to That's just move awful. on to the next yeah. call. Yeah, I, I could not imagine doing that job. Like, I'd crumble under the pressure. Of, like, that woman was like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> like, yeah. It's crazy. It's kind of interesting to see, though, yeah. I love the intro to this, though, is like... Because, uh, I, I, again, I spoke about this in the episode, but I love the machine graphics. Yeah. I love the way it looks. It creates a unique kind of look for the show, in yeah. a way. Um, even the transitions. I cut a lot of the transitions out because, like, obviously I try to keep the amount of footage we use not a lot. Because of, yeah. I don't want to take the pee. <laughs> no, no, no. That's the point. Um, and, like, they're easy to cut out because they're transitions. But I love the way they look. Yeah. Um, but it starts off with that. And then you were like, is this a call centre? Um, and I really like how everyone's like, 911, how can I help? And then and it's just, Finch's yeah. voice. <laughs> Such he's a good... He's a trainee. Yeah, so good. Um, he's infiltrated, basically. Yes. Um, Sandra is the number. Sandra, well, yeah, Sandra Nicholson is the number. Um, we hear him, like, helping someone. Someone's broken into a car. It turns out it's squirrels. Yeah. Um, 
I really like how like Reese and Shaw say, and he kind of says like he has experience with it because he basically does this yeah. in a different kind of situation. Yeah. He's not constantly getting calls. Like he's kind of more of a like talking to the cops, for example. Yeah. Like he's talking to Reese and Shaw all the time yeah. and trying to Figure guide out, get them. them out of yeah. situations. Yeah. So it's kind of similar in a way, which is kind of cool, a neat concept, I think. But yeah. Um, but they're trying to work out why anyone. Would yeah, because wanna... she's a training supervisor. Yes. Good record articles. Yeah. Um, is this where we see like her help the other woman as well, right? Yeah. Because um, the woman's like, ah, oh, she's in a river. I don't know what to do. Yeah. And we see her working under pressure, which is kind of cool because yeah. obviously the whole episode she's under pressure. Um, yeah, um, but she helps the girl out. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it's like, I don't know when it gets brought up, but like someone like that would be a witness to so many crimes or like Yeah, I think they say this about or... now, like why would someone want to kill her? And yeah, yeah. Like they're witness on court cases and... Yeah, so you hear so many confessions and different yeah. things, so... Yeah. I love how we get a lot of calls in the background, like throughout the episode of like... <laughs> like, your cat's stuck in an air duct for how long has your cat been in the <laughs> yeah. air duct for like, like, things like that like stupid yeah. no one wasn't cool yeah happen. they must get <coughs> so, and like there's a bit that brought up later as well like 11,000 calls in that day were but oh in the week butt was dialed. it were butt dials yeah or last two days wasn't it yeah which is crazy which I can't imagine I, I imagine it's 911 because it's they're, they're apart no. Our number's 999. I, I, our number must be 999 because of the rotary phones, right? Yeah. So, like, it's hard to accidentally for a kid, maybe. say, to do that, maybe? I don't know. But it seems very simple to just 999, you know yeah. what I mean? So, I don't know. I wanna, how many different numbers are there? Emergency everywhere must don't have know. a different one. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, um, uh, we cut to Fusco, who's the man. He's the, the mayor. Mayor. Everyone's like, oh, you're great, Fusco. He's like, what about this knife? Was it... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to walk around for a little bit? No, it's okay. Yeah, you sure? Yeah, <laughs> okay. okay. Um, yeah, I love it. Everyone's coming to Fusco for help. Yes. Because he's basically, after taking down Simmons... Yes. He's like, no, it was serrated yeah. blade, like... Yeah. Like and he's like, just... This other guy's no, like, can I have some help with this? Yeah, I can't remember what the second one was, but he's like, nah, there's this. Oh, I'm busy here. <laughs> like, And then the other guy, oh, look, I've got this new murder... Oh, no, a mugging victim. I need yeah. It's like, oh, I can't do everything for you. You're not a detective for no reason. Mm-hmm. Like, just figure it out. So, but you do, people do do that, like, right? Go to, do, do. Uh, they do uh, talk to people who, it must be hard, because, like, he's not exactly above any of the other detectives, right? In a way. No. But. you got more experience. It's like anyone coming up to us at work. They yeah. know we've worked there for years. Yeah. That if they're, get... they're a bit like, well, how do I do yeah. this? They're I didn't want to like toot my to... own horn in a way, but yeah, people would come but to us like to. It doesn't happen that often, but you no. know, like, like I've even said to people that like new people, I'm like, if you get stuck or something, just ask me. Like, yeah, I've yeah. been in your position. Yeah, I can help. Yeah, exactly. So, and I'm always getting questioned about AV issues and stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. So, but it's cool. I kind of, I get it from Fusco's perspective. Like, it must be very annoying everyone coming up to him and asking him. But he does deserve the admiration and yeah, yeah after everything. Um, I think Finch calls him up at this point and he's like, oh, I'm busy. Everyone's bugging me. What do you want? <laughs> uh, he's like, the sealed juvenile record. Since it's all locked down, HR, HR yeah, can't. Without eyes. court order, court order. Yeah, eyes on us, like yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Um, and then Fusco kind of looks over at the guy, the the rookie, well, the yeah, kind of that. new guy, yeah. Okay, and he goes over to help. Come and help. And I love how good Fusco is at his job. Literally looks at instantly like those bruising means that she was. They happen after death, so she's been. She moved. had to be still to have those bruises, yeah, and they're and on the left arm, and she's lying on her right. right. So she's been moved, and there's carpet fibers. Yeah, so that's what I'm like, oh, So, little team up. So, this isn't yeah. a mug, and this is a murder. Yeah. Um, we then cut back, and Sandra gets a call from a kid called yeah. Aaron, who yeah, someone's is. Someone's breaking into his apartment. Yeah. Um, so, Sean. Sure on your own. Sean sure Reese, because obviously um, Finch is listening in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His parents are out and stuff, but he sends Shaw and Reese to go after him. But he hides. But unfortunately, the low battery. Yeah, coincidental. Yeah, on his phone gets him caught. 
Yeah. So. But this is where we find out if someone else is behind it and they want Sandra to do something for them. Well, they him. want to talk to Sandra. It's like, Sandra, they want to talk to you. They want you they to answer your phone. phone. So yeah. creepy. Like, everything about it is just really creepy. No, it's just a guy on the end of the phone saying, I need you to do this. I don't know what it is about his voice. Like, yeah. it's just so... Otherwise, they'll kill the kid. Sinister, in a way. And yeah. Yeah, so basically they've... Yeah. Yeah, um... But mm-hmm. Reese and Shaw get to the apartment and the kid's gone. Uh, yeah. But they watch back on the camera because uh, Finch hacked the laptop, right? Yeah, the um, webcam. They realise that they, they're they not like military or anything because right. of the way they move. I love how Reese can just tell all this. It's so cool. Yeah. Um, but he sees a ring. They're the Templarios, Mexican yeah. cartel. Like, they're for hire to kidnap yeah. kids or whatnot. Yeah, it's it crazy. Really- yeah, I mean, there are people like that out there, mm-hmm. definitely. Yeah, it's, it's insane. Um, we cut to Fusco uh, getting to the office where she, uh, Tara, the murder victim, worked. Worked, yeah. Uh, the carpet fibres do not match, though. Nope. So she didn't get killed there. Nope. And all of a sudden, someone's at the door. Yeah, some creepy guy. <laughs> um, but he's just a concerned guy, it turns out. Don't judge yes. a book by its cover, you know. And then is her managers sort of thing. Her it's the owners of the the, yeah. the uh, building. See, I said this yeah. to you. It's such a stupid observation, but the building was white with black in the middle, and it just looked like a PS Five. <laughs> oh, I saw you. I heard you say something about PS Five. Yeah, I, I was didn't... like, the building just looks like a PlayStation Five. Oh. It was throwing <laughs> me off. But anyway, they're the um, the King Cades or something yeah. like that. Uh, where, do, where have I heard that name from, King Cades? I think it's from like a old B movie, Red Light Media Watch, actually. Um, but anyway, um, they yeah. want to help in any way. Yeah, they we're very her, concerned. They oh yes. So he asked for CCTV as well. Yeah. Um, what did you think? Who did you think it was, or what did you think was going point. on? I was a bit like, we got two very different stories. And yeah. Like, yeah. What is going on? Why it it makes sense following? they connect though, because obviously yeah. her working at the emergency call center. Yeah. yeah so, yeah. Um, so. We cut to Sandra, who is being asked to... Turn off the backup generator. So what, if that gets turned off and then the power loses, then it's... That's... The centre's gone, right. all the calls. It's like, I don't care. Do you want me to send you a hand? Yeah. Any body part you can pick? Like, he also you? says, like... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's threatening, like, to cut off a child's hand. Yeah. It's insane. Um, he's like, um... If I can see your hand shaking, then, then everyone else can. And she's like... Yeah. What do you think of that point? How was he watching? I don't know. I was like, is it? It makes in complete here? sense because, like, when she wrote "Help me" on the thing, it's like, yeah. how could he see that other than the camera? And she's not wearing glasses, so no. like, yeah. Uh, even Finch is looking around. But yeah, like, she went down to the generator, didn't she? But she had to sign in to and get in. And she wrote, in there. "Help me." And he was like, "What are you doing?" Yeah, the guy on the other end of the phone. I thought I could trust. Yeah. So she crosses out and kind of. I like how everyone notices because even the woman from earlier is like, "Oh, thank you for earlier," and she's. Kind of like, yeah, cool. It's yeah. like, are you okay? It's like, yeah. <laughs> like, everyone notices she's yeah. acting differently. So, yeah. But she goes down into the, into yeah. the old, into the power. Um, Turns off the generator, and then he tells her to go Do you think we purposely server? got shown that mop bucket? Must have. So, like, yeah, because that's where the yeah. water was. So. But yeah, she turns off the backup power. And then um, has to head to the server room. Yeah. Uh, she goes to the server room, and there are... Check the last calls from the last forty-eight hours. Yeah, and there are thirty thousand one hundred and seventy-eight or something like that. Yeah, calls. And delete them all. It's like what? <laughs> yeah. Um, I think we cut away at that point because, um, like, she's like, "That's public record. You can't delete that. That's confessions, people's yeah. last words, everything like that." Like, yeah, can't just get rid of it. And he's like, "Do I need to remind you, like, what's going on yeah. here?" It is funny because like she does ask stupid questions here and there. She's like, like, who are you? And like, what's yeah. the? And he's like, look, listen to me right now. You need to focus. Yeah. <laughs> like in that situation, you would panic. It for so long though in this episode, we see how cool and collected she is. And then there's yeah. one point where she obviously breaks, but yeah. everyone has their breaking point. Uh, but we cut to Shaw, who has found the car. Yes, uh, it's driving Finch around. The, yeah, the, the phone. But turns out. Two phones. Two phones strapped together. Yeah. Does that work? Like, I don't know. Yeah. I'm quite surprised when she was holding it. Like, I don't know if it's a plot hole or if I'm just pick, nitpicking. With her talking out loud and holding that. Yeah, I Would didn't the know voice go through? I don't know. Yeah, but there you go. But I guess them taped together be muffled. I don't know. 
Yeah. I remember when I first got an iPhone uh, or a new phone, and I was like phoning someone. I was talking to them. I was like, "Why are you so quiet?" And I realised yes, it's the plastic. It. <laughs> yeah. So, you know. So I guess two phones together it might block sound yeah. out. So. Um, but yeah. So it's a relay. This guy yeah. is a ghost. He's like, yeah. Um, Finch works out where the camera is. He's like looking around, like, yeah. how can he see? And he's like, wait a second. Everyone's wearing. Yeah. Headsets, that's where it must be. Um, so he goes in. Stands behind her and is like, do not panic and do not yeah, turn he mutes. around. He mutes the fo- her I've phone muted call. muted the call. Of course. Um, they've got a camera on your Yeah. So. yeah. Um, I've got a team working on this. Like, we'll work this out. Like, <laughs> um, But she, the guy then starts talking like, what's going on? I'm getting impatient. And she's like, yeah. I can't delete it all at once. I, I need a high Do it in access. blocks. Otherwise, uh, yeah, take 15 yeah, but I need a higher access yeah. code to be able to do it then. Like, yeah. Um, then, I think she then goes down, right, to the thing? Yeah. But I think this is when... Oh, yeah, because Harold's like, stay out while I decide I don't like Yeah. Uh, I'll he's work like, on it. You go, yeah. yeah, sort that out. we got time to kill. Um, he calls Fusco, and then he's like, I need your help with something. Yeah, I've got 30,000 calls I need to whittle down. 11,000 of them are about dials. Oh, I've <laughs> taken away crazy. any muggins. Is it muggins or yeah, weird like, calls as well? But he said he's got 11. Yeah. Was it like... No, 312 calls, I think. So Oh, yeah. That maybe were directly to her and like... Uh, I don't know. Like yeah. he, he, he worked narrowed it down to three hundred twelve pet things or yeah. And he's like, "You take half, I take the other half." We've got five minutes. It's like one hundred and seventy four calls. calls in five yeah, seventy six calls. About yeah, Harry. yeah. <coughs> there you go. Um, she goes and gets the fob from the IT guy. I love this IT guy because just before this as well, um, the guy that Finch is working with gives him a handout of where all our phone calls a ping just before this. And like her common places were the Fusco. gym and home. You mean Fusco, you said Finch. Oh, sorry, oh, yeah, Fusco, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. then this yes, is where, he where starts... she'd been and yeah. whatnot, trying to work it out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because um, was it like. Um... Home and gym? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they were like saying the carpet doesn't match on any of these places, yeah. right? So, yeah. Um, so she goes to the IT guy who really reminds me, you've never watched it, I don't think, the IT crowd? Mm-hmm. He just reminds me of the guy from IT crowd. Like, have you tried turning it off and on again? <laughs> That's basically me. <laughs> but, um, um. She makes up some lie about. About monitor. Like, he's like, oh, I always tell people to respect the tech. Yeah. But that's why I, say, I was joking, say, I say that at work. <laughs> hey, <Yeah>. me. <laughs> um, but he turns around and then she gets. Oh, he's, I like the guy's like, quick, what are you doing? You have to be quicker. And then she goes to leave and he's like, are you Sandra? Okay? And she's like, yeah, just a rough call. Which is a good way yeah. to get out of it, yeah. Um,. Reese goes and finds the cartel. Not yet. No, not no. yet. Um, no, that's a little, a little bit late. Oh. Um, we get uh, Fusco listening in on the calls, and it's like just stupid stuff like, yeah. "Oh, he's stealing my newspapers. Oh, yeah. he's cheating on me, or whatever." <coughs> oh, whenever someone loses a baseball game on the way, and they get angry. Yeah, um, yeah. And he keeps skipping, and then he hears one to Sandra. Um, it's a woman. Yeah. Um, she's like, I don't like fearing for her life, basically, yeah. right? And then she kind of, oh, what's your name? It's like cuts off. Yeah. And that's when Fusco works out the yeah. GPS matches. Yeah. It's like, He's like Tara. I don't know who it is? Yeah, Tara. It's the same case. We're working the same thing. Unfortunately, Sandra walks in and looks right at Finch. <laughs> and then and the, the guy's guy like, what? Who's that? Who's helping? She's like, me? I don't know who it is. He's like, ah, don't lie to me. And then he blows up. He blows up a bit. I really like this part, like the explo- distance explosion sound, and then the building kind of shakes and rattles, and then you just yeah. see that smoke. He's like, was that Aaron? Aaron, like, yeah. No, that was a three parking, cars, yeah. yeah, in a parking lot. But I've attached a bomb to Aaron, and you got fifteen yeah. minutes. What did you? What do you think of this guy? <laughs> yeah, oh, it's like Jesus Christ! It's creepy. There's some anger issues to. There's a lot of people in like this, like. It's like the cartel and the the, yeah. the guns for hire and the kidnappers for hire. It's like, where are you? You've got no morals. Like yeah. it's just insane. Just doing it for money. Yeah. Um, yeah. So 
crazy. I think this is when we cut to like her freak, kind of breaking out, and like yeah. she's like. So Finch follows and then speaks to her, and we find out because like earlier on, the guy even said on the phone, uh, "Don't let what happened to Aaron happen to what happened twenty years ago or yeah. ten whatever to Joseph." Yeah. But we find out that when story. she was a babysitter, her juvie record fourteen. She was babysitting, the kid was in the bath, he wanted to throw a toy, she left for like two minutes, she went back up. And he, he was face down in the water and yeah. she couldn't revive him. But she froze for 15 seconds and she still yeah. thinks whether that... I mean, that's the thing, in the moment, that's the yeah. whole thing with this episode, is like being in an emergency call centre, you can't freeze, so... She's still got the guilt. Maybe that's that. why she was doing it, like... Yeah, she's to, trying to help others because... Yeah, because of the guilt. guilt. In a way... It's kind of what, why Finch is doing what he's doing right yeah. now. It's, well, it is because of the guilt of what happened to yeah. um, Nathan. Nathan, thank you. <laughs> I wanted to say Arthur. It was Arthur Claypool, and then I was like, he said, oh, yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, Nathan, sir. Yeah, okay. uh, it's a cool connection. I like it. Um, yeah. So, got, and and Finch was like, I wonder why he chose you out there, everyone in this place, yeah. and it was something that connected it. It was the loss of a child. Uh, and he's like, it wasn't your fault. And she's like, I don't, I still blame myself. Yeah. Like, because like in the eyes of law, I'm innocent, but I don't see it like yeah. that. Um, it's hard thing to deal with then. Yeah. She's like, I cannot lose another kid. I'm going to do whatever he says. Yeah. And that's it. And, and he kind of, I love how he has to walk around behind yeah. her. Um, yeah. And she, he's like, um, I, I think Finch just says, I give up on you, basically. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Sad story, like backstory, but yeah. <laughs> uh, we cut to Reese. Well, I think uh, Reese speaks to Fusco. No. Oh. Yeah. No. Uh, okay, what are you going to say? Doesn't Finch talk to Shaw to ask how she's getting on with finding out who the guy was that made the guy run around and then the guy's in the cable ties in the boot and then she kind of interrogates. And no, then... not quite yet. So. First of all, Reese calls... hasn't found him yet, is it? No, no, no. First of all, Reese calls Fusco, who's who's at the office, I think. Yeah, um, I'll to find out whether. Yeah. Whether oh, maybe this out. was slightly earlier. No, no, no. Yeah. So the Reese phone call with Fusco was when Fusco was first at the office, and yeah. he asks about the Templarios, like where, where they, they hang, hang out. out. Yeah. And then he says, um... "Yeah, he says this bar basically." Yeah. Yeah, so that's why yeah, I didn't write that bit down. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you're right. Shaw has found out from the guy. Because I love earlier how um, F- uh, Finch was like, can you find out? And she's like, Ple- oh my, uh, the pleasure yeah. will be mine. <laughs> yeah, she's like, very excited about it. Um, but yeah, she tells, they she speaks to Reese and says, uh, some guy with five, uh, a crazy too amount many of, earrings. too many earrings in his right ear. Um, so then Reese walks into the pub and he's like, I want to talk to him. You guys can leave. And they'll get up and they're like... Because this is... Because when he walks in, he says to Shaw on the phone again, I found him. She's yeah. like, well, wait up. Wait, wait for, for me. You, wait for your back up. Yeah. And he's like... Hmm. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, I was hoping you get to take the hard way. Yeah. We cut away, yeah. Um, this is when we cut back to Fusco at the office. And they basically reveal... That the King Aids are the ones who killed her. Yeah. Uh, they're cover- trying to cover it up. Um, yeah. Yeah. So they, they, they said, like, because uh, the. I can't remember his name, Roy or something, King Aid. Yeah. Know. But he was like, oh, her phone, like, was wherever. And he's like, nope, that was a burner phone. This yeah. is her phone, which found in her we apartment. Found the voicemails. And- I, see, I have a friend who's very good with technology, which yeah. I like. I love this. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hacked into the voicemails and heard this. Yeah. So basically, he was having an affair with Tara. Yeah. Um, and they tried to cover it all up. Which is very similar to a story we've got before. Um, it was with another rich family, yeah. right? Um, didn't they, they? She had the kid, right? With the guy? Yes. Yeah, something like that. Um, and then like the wife called a team to take her out or whatever. Yeah. And couldn't call them off again. So it's very similar. Um yeah, so. Yeah, uh, but it was the wife again here that called. Yeah. And didn't ask, like, how to get in contact with him or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. Like, the, the the husband did genuinely seem like, oh, what have yeah. you done? They kidnapped a kid? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, so there we go. Um, we cut back to the bar where Reese has taken them all out. Yes. Which again, I like. I said in the episode where we we're reacting uh, that I like that you, it leaves it to your imagination to imagine yeah. what happened. Yeah. So it's, it's pretty cool. Um, and, and he's beating a one in. guy, and then she's like, "Oh, you didn't leave any. Like, you couldn't wait up for like, me. I left, like, left the best for you." Uh, he's like, "You the guy?" He's like, "No, nah, I don't know. I don't." Yeah. He's careful. Money just appears, and we do whatever yeah. he says. It's like you gonna you could shoot me or whatever. I, I won't say anything. Mm. Well, that's where Reese gets the gun out. Yeah. And then... And Shaw picks up the pliers. Well, that won't be necessary. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, I think we cut to... Now, back to... Um, Sandra. Uh, so this is where she's starting to delete the... Yeah, it, yeah. it's like, are you sure you want to delete? Uh, and then... The voice comes through going... Don't worry, my employers have just confessed to the police, so I am no longer yeah. in service. And my contract is now terminated with yeah. them, so, you know, unfortunately, I'm still going to have to kill Aaron. Yeah. Uh, I can't have any. And you, you know, cleanliness is all. You did all you can, but. Then the lights go out in the place, and then it's like everyone's yeah. evacuing. Yeah. Um, and the Fidget's like, no, he wants you to go out the front. Yeah. Anywhere else we can go? Yeah. So go through the steps. Yeah. Uh,. Meanwhile, Reese and Shaw have arrived at the place. Yeah. Um, I think Finch is even... Has he worked out where the place is? Where Aaron's no, being held? So. I'm not sure. But I think, like, Shaw's kind of like, oh, we found out. And he's got the earring to <laughs> where she's, like, yeah. ripped him out of his ear. And this is where Reese looks at the suits. Did you wonder what he was looking at them for? Yeah, I did wonder Because she's bit, even like, what, you need a new suit? Yeah. I'm like, yeah. 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 Turns out... It's a decoy. Yeah. So the guys the have obviously got. upstairs with the bomb on him. And then the lift goes off. Because yeah. the bomb had three minutes left, so they were yeah. obviously like, right, it's time to get out of here. Yeah. What the hell? And they just start shooting. What did you think was going on? Did you. Th I didn't think they would be so ballsy to just come up and. No, lift. yeah, they're smarter than that. Yeah. And they're just around the corner and they start shooting them. And we get a yeah. big gunfight. You um, do. Yeah, you start trying to talk to me, and I was like, okay, I hate you. There's lots of gunshots. <laughs> Yeah, but this is where Shaw, used... Shaw was kind of like Reese. You go for the yeah. Bomb. I'll cover you. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And then Reese basically he takes care of the bomb. It, yeah. I like how he talks to the kid. He's like talking to him about baseball. baseball get anything. Yeah. Get him off like his mind off of it. I guess. And they talk yeah. about being a good hitter. I like that because that's all Reese does is hit people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And he just mm -hmm. says, "Imagine you close yeah. your eyes. Imagine you hit a home run." And so I did it. Yeah. Like, yes, you did. Two seconds to spare. Um, I really like the shot. The shot. Uh, I like how Shaw's chasing the last guy and she hears him and doesn't it just shoots him through yeah. a thing. Like, doesn't even need to see him, but she yeah. shoots him and then, like, shoots his knee. Like, yeah, yeah it's so cool. Um, but we cut to uh, the office. Is well, we where... saw her a bit in the office. And then Shaw walks up going, he's not even here with the. Yeah, phone got another. Yeah, off. yeah, another. Really? Yeah. Then so. we see them going down, and well, we well, don't we see saw, them going into the basement. We saw a shot before of them being shot at by a bull guy. Like yes. he just chased them, so they run off, and then we see the basement, and he's gone down. He's it's gone dark, down. and then he slips. Hear her breathing. Yes, very obviously. You're like, oh, she's not doing very good at this. Yeah, but obviously he steps it's a into trap. some water, and I'm like, why is there water in the basement? Yeah. Uh, but it is a trap. My God, Finch! Badass. <laughs> yeah. Hell be. yeah. He I mean, these people deserve it considering yeah. what they've done. Yeah. Basically, makes him stand in water and then says, "I've got the power." It's need. like ten times the the amount needed yeah. to like electrocute you. And I will you. drop this. Yeah. And you will not have a second to think. Yeah, you'll just go into like. Yeah. This is where this guy claims that he's just hired by he's the like, other guy. First of all, I need you to drop your gun. Secondly, you need you to talk to me. Yeah. Your voice. But it's he's like, claiming he's hired. Well, it's not his voice. Yeah. So. Um, and she picks up the gun and smacks him. And they did it. They did it. There we yeah, go. Yeah. Wee. Yeah, it's cool. Um, we get Fusco being a hard ass again with yeah. his, like, not partner. Yeah. He's like, what, are you going to stand around all day? We're gonna... <laughs> like, go get, go a get coffee. And, and then he kind of does a smirk. I like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because I can get it from Fusco's perspective. Like, all these people wanted his attention. And, and like, um, he, he's lost his partner. Like, yeah. yeah. No one can replace him. No. No. 
Um, but then you get the little... Well, Finch meets up with Sandra. Sandra. Yeah. And her way to work. We get closure, basically. Yeah. I like how she kind of talks to him and says, like, because he kind of reveals a little bit about why he was there. And she's yeah. like, what, you got a phone call about me? And he's like, uh, and he kind of deflects. He's like, yeah. uh, in a way. <laughs> and he's like, yeah. anyway. Um, he's like, and like, I like how Finch is like, I'm happy knowing you're out there taking these calls and yeah. whatnot. And she's yeah. like, I'm happy you're out there too. Yeah. Nice. Um, and then Reese and Shaw just appear from the shadows. Well, we get closure as well, yeah, where yeah, she yeah. gets to see, see Aaron. Yeah, I thought baseball. you kind of meant that already. No, she? yeah, sorry. I kind of yeah I'm weaving in and out. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a really nice yeah. moment. Um, especially considering what she went through when she was a kid as well. Yeah, because um, that's yeah. when Reese and Shaw turn up as well, and Reese even says that. The kid seems to be doing all right, considering like, kids are resilient. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like, they get through. Yeah, been kidnapped in a bomb strap too, and you're just yeah. playing baseball with your mum or something. Yeah, all right. Yeah, there's one problem: the phones. And as soon as yeah. he opens it, he gets phone call. Yeah, and uh, it's the voice. Yeah, yeah nice the guy's like, "Well, it's counterproductive to kill Aaron, and she's earned her life, so yeah. whatever." But it's nice to talk to the one person that's defeated. Really. Yeah, we'll be. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll be, in t- be seeing you. Yeah. It's like, did he say anything? He's like, ah, nothing of consequence. Yeah, <laughs> That's basically it. That was the episode, yeah, last yeah. call. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, it's cool, we've kind of gone back to the like number of the week in yeah. a way. Kind this of is thing. like I said that it feels like, but then I'm also like, who's this person at the end of the... Yeah, I mean... Is yeah. this going to be a side story for a few yeah. episodes, it, maybe? Do you know what it kind of like reminds... Like a really quick, know, as a yeah. filler... For the other big stuff going on. What do you reckon? Could this be like a three episode mm. filler do you know what? enemy to go after before we get the big finale of taking down one of the big It kind of reminds me in a way though of... Um, do you remember the episode with the nurse? And there was the British spy who... Do you remember this? The British spy who was trying to take her down? And then yeah, he was yeah. like, he treated it like kind of like a game and then they defeated him. Yeah. He's like, oh, I'll be, yeah, well, this game has just begun or whatever. Yeah. And we've never seen him again. No. Like, it kind of reminds me of that in a way, yeah. but will we see this person continue or will it be kind this of like that? This person's very good though. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, that guy was good as well mm. anyway. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, this episode feels, I like it because of the connection to like them taking calls and yeah. yeah um but it does feel like it's taken ideas from other episodes as well yeah in a way not that it's a bad thing show, yeah. so yeah but there we go uh that was last call we will be back in a week's time with episode 16 we've yeah. only got eight episodes left of this season uh not too long so who knows where we're going yeah um but yeah thank you very much for watching uh next on the channel is more always sunny in philadelphia Yay. yeah but we're getting close to where i haven't seen yeah. there we go uh thank you once again and we shall see you next time Bye bye